my name is uh, John Lim and I'm uh, a cybersecurity trainer at the local polytechnic in Singapore. And uh, basically, I specialize in uh, teaching various topics on cybersecurity, including ethical hacking, uh, forensics, uh, governance risk compliance, and application security. Now, my career journey in uh, cybersecurity started off about uh, 16 years ago. Uh, where I completed a formal uh, diploma in uh, cyber security, uh, but that is after I've gotten my my uh, uh, bachelor in computer science. And um, uh, since then, I have done a fair number of certifications, uh, including, of course, those from EC Council uh, as well. I started off with the cyber ethical hacker, uh, cyber uh, certified ethical hacker, followed by computer hacking forensic investigator and subsequently of course uh, certified uh, threat intelligence analyst and uh, the various uh, challenges I face at work probably is um, how do I get, uh, gain knowledge in a quick and fast way as well as to learn about the, what's the current trends in terms of the area of cyber security that I am interested in. Now although uh, my my work does not involve wholly on threat intelligence. Uh, I believe threat intelligence is one of the key uh, trends that is uh, shaping the cybersecurity job that we do today. Um, other than uh, you know managing a security operation center, uh, knowing cyber threat intelligence is very useful in uh, areas of work, including uh, being an ethical hacker as well as uh, a forensic investigator. How so? Because um, uh, threat intelligence uh, not only provides uh, pre, uh, pre-event knowledge about potential threats, but also gives uh, uh, knowledge about the, the cyber queue chain, the methods of attack, the, the sources, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, things and information that are very useful for uh, not only uh, SOC center operators, but also to uh, ethical hackers as well as uh, forensic investigators. So uh, what CTI has done for me is that uh, it allows me to fast track into the key knowledge behind what a threat intelligence analyst is supposed to know, uh, including all the latest in terms of the techniques and also some of the practical sessions that were provided as part of CTIA. And uh, it gives me a very quick uh, method into to understand what is the required knowledge and to integrate this knowledge into my other areas of work as well. Now, in my preparation for CTIA, it is uh, pretty much the same as what I did for uh, the other EC Council certifications, uh, including uh, uh, this includes, the, of course, the study of the material per se, which is, I believe, is of very high quality. And of course, subsequently, uh, to, to really uh, analyze the, what are the key aspects uh, behind the certification. Um, CTIA program, I suppose it is one of the unique uh, certifications uh, in, in the arsenal of EC Council, uh, in that the CTIA is uh, not really, it's more about intelligence rather than on a particular area of work like uh, ethical hacking and uh, forensic investigations. And uh, really, uh, I'm, I enjoyed the various uh, insights into what, uh, what threat intelligence is all about, how to gather the various sources of information, what are the sources of information that are available today, uh, and which I believe is very pretty updated from EC Council's perspective and also how to then uh, correlate all this information together to form uh, a credible source of information with regards to potential cyber attacks. So uh, I have done uh, CEH, CHFI, uh, as well as case.net and case.java. Uh, and uh, what CTIA program is that, that it is very unique in that, that I cannot find any other uh, similar um, certification that is uh, in the same area as CTIA and I and that's part of the reason why I took CTIA up in the first place and uh, I believe it actually helps me a lot uh, in terms of uh, providing a unique set of information and knowledge uh, with regards to this uh, very specialized uh, area of work. Well, um, 
uh, as I mentioned, uh, my area of work is on uh, cyber training, and I find that the what the knowledge of uh, that that I have gained from CTIA program allows me to really enhance my even my work in teaching um, uh, penetration testing um, in uh, forensic investigation and even more so in governance risk and compliance uh, and I think especially in risk management uh, because um, one very important part of risk management is to understand the potential threats that come from uh, various sources including uh, external sources as well and uh, what the CTIA program does for me or rather did for me was that it allows me to enhance my knowledge in terms of uh, being able to appreciate better the intricacies of uh, threat intelligence and and it's linked to uh, understanding the various risks posed to uh, our IT systems today. Now, uh, I have um, encouraged some of my participants, my trainees, uh, to undertake CIA. And uh, while I do not have very direct uh, experience in that area, uh, I do believe that CTIA provides the trainer, trainee or rather the, the candidate with uh, a very good uh, foundation upon which to understand threat intelligence in a very uh, in-depth manner and uh, to be able to uh, you know become uh, productive in the SOC environment. Now um, I believe CTIA program, the CTIA program um, being a niche area on its own is also at the same time very much related to a lot of other practices in cybersecurity. Uh, to some extent I would uh, I would recommend that the candidate be familiar with at least uh, the overall uh, aspects about uh, you know, uh, cybersecurity, especially in the area of risk management for cybersecurity. And uh, this would really put the, into perspective the needs of CTIA uh, or rather threat intelligence within the perspective of uh, risk management, which I find very, very useful. And it is very uh, compatible, these two areas, uh, risk management as well as CTIA. Thank you.